My name is Jay Smith. I am Vice President of Ajax Building Company. We have probably touched or built almost every building in downtown Tallahassee, starting with the Capitol. Uh, we're currently rebuilding both the House and Senate uh, office buildings. We've been down there for four years now. So uh, during the holidays and summertime, starting when I was probably about five years old, I would get to go in uh, with my father. And so we would leave the house about 6, 6.30 in the morning. Whenever they'd go to a job site, they'd be there for about two hours working through things. And I get paid to pick up trash. And then as I grew up, I would get to ride around with a few key employees. Miss Doreen was one of my granddad's first employees. He was a master carpenter. His son, Larry, works with us still today. I used to get to follow him around and help him, hand him nails, hand him hammers, whatever it was. Started from the ground up, literally, from uh, sweeping on job sites to uh, many other activities to today. We have that family culture, but we've grown significantly since my granddad started the company. We're in the from North Carolina all the way down to Key West, but uh, get to work with a lot of uh, great owners and great projects and get to be a part of communities and really make a big impact on those communities. We, we've also built a lot of K-12 schools, both public and private schools, and so every time you get to work on a K-12 school, you're really changing kids' lives and how they learn, so all of them are really fun and significant. If not, it's just a building, you know, so you think about what, what the building does beyond just, you know, it's fun building it because it's complex, it's something different every day, but the true impact of what the, the design, you know, that the architects really put a lot of heart and soul into, and then how you've built it and how you've made sure it's a quality structure that's gonna last for 50 years, um, and then see people really get to enjoy it and how it changes their daily work and how they interact. And so that, that's, the, that's the beauty of what we get to do and what construction is, is really unique. It's about people, so every man or woman on that job site is so important. And so what they're doing on a daily, making sure they're being, giving the right approach to how to handle things, giving them opportunities to grow within their jobs. Um, those are all things that I learned that uh, my grandfather and father really instilled in the culture of our company and is something that we're really proud of still today. We really instill that uh, opportunity and growth and you know, with hard work and dedication, you can do anything in this industry. You've got to have a willingness to learn, a drive to show up, be there, be present, and work hard. Those two things alone really can take you anywhere. So those are the, you know, the, the base of everything that, uh, in any industry, but specifically in construction. Those things allow you to keep adapting and learning and that ability to learn and grow. In our industry, if you have those two key components to your work ethic, then you can, you can achieve anything. Majority of our employees have been with us for over 15 and 20 years is, you know, once you find that key person that really wants to do those things, then we can, we can teach you anything if you have a willingness to learn. A few key components that have changed the dynamics, really that I think is going to attract uh, the new workforce of the construction industry. Two things, technology and sustainability. So technology is really taking uh, construction to the next level. So it allows us to use computer-aided technology to look at buildings in a 3D manner so we can actually build and customize how the facility will come together before we ever start construction. And then it allows us to then modularize that construction so then we can take that model into a factory or a warehouse and put the building together and kind of build a lot of it in a facility before we ever come on job sites. What that does is it, it makes it more efficient, it makes it cleaner, uh, and it makes it a safer job site as well. So those are, those are key things that have changed on the technology side. And then on the sustainability side, the structures that we're building are much more efficient, they're much more durable, uh, they, they use a lot less energy, and we're really putting a major focus on recycling uh, our construction waste, so we're, we're diverting materials away from the landfill and actually bringing it back into use and util reutilizing those materials. The state of Florida has created a lot of new programs to attract and to train um, people that want to be in the construction industry. So it's a great opportunity, it's a way to make a great living um, and it really uh, allows you, it's not the, the rough and tumble, unsafe world that was that people thought of in the, in the early you know, 50s and 60s. It's a, it's a much cleaner, safer job site 
and everybody on that site site is looking out for each other in a safe manner. We what we call a, a safety 360 is where every man or woman on that job site is looking out for each other, and, and that's that really has improved the workforce and the opportunities on on in a construction job site. So specifically for the Tallahassee Police Department project, we have a, a specific focus of engaging what we call disadvantaged workers. And so within that, we're looking for individuals that have had a criminal past and are, in, are interested in getting back and re-engaged. So we're looking to employ them, we're looking at putting them through training programs. We're specifically uh, targeting individuals that have dropped out of high school and they're interested in getting back into their GED program, working closely with Tempo, so we can get them back in, get their education finished that they're looking for, and then get them into a training program or an apprenticeship program as well to help develop their skills. And then those that live in that are receiving government support or an 8A housing uh, specifically, we're looking to engage them and bring them and give them opportunities. We are very proud of the steps that our industry and specifically Ajax has taken to really change the workforce environment. So uh, as a father of three daughters, I'm very proud of uh, how we've engaged the, the women in the workforce. So Ajax has got a uh, over 30% of our workforce is, is female. The diversity inclusion opportunities are tremendous as well. And this project, the Tallahassee Police Department project, we've got a, an, another program where we're really engaging an apprenticeship program and a disadvantaged workers program to really uh, bring out a, a great diverse workforce on this project.